G'day gardeners. Well today we're going to be planting some garlic and I'll just show you that. Got some diggers garlic here. Uh, really good stuff, really good stock. Let's open them up and have a look, shall we? Ooh, lots of varieties in here. That's uh, Dungan Ski. Never heard of that one, but give it a go. What's this one? Locker Len. And Tassie Purple. All right, interesting varieties. Let's, once again, at least it's all in paper and not in plastic. I can throw it straight in the compost bin. So it should be about three bulbs in each. So that's the size of the bulbs. Nice and easy, and then uh, all we have to do to plant them in the ground is we split it open like this, pull a clove out, and we pop the get all these out of the way. We pop a oh, there we go. We pop the flat end down and the pointy bit up, and we put it in double the depth of the height of the clove. And uh, in about six months' time, we've got another bulb, bulb of garlic. So it's pretty cool stuff. Anyway, let's get these in the ground and we'll see what they look like, eh? Alrighty, so the first row we'll do these um, Tasmanian ones. And oh, there's a weed I missed from last time. And um, as I said, you grab the clover garlic, flat end down, pointy bit up, pretty easy. And dig it a little hole with your fingers. And just pop it in the ground and don't backfill them just yet because you want to see where you planted them all so the next one's not too far apart so about that far grab another clove pop it in the ground and you keep going along all right let's do the rest of the bed let's get rid of this bloody thing All right, so not very far apart. Make sure there's no rocks or anything in there. And we bung it in. When you break the cloves apart, just make sure if they do have any growing tips, that may have already started, but you don't snap those off because you just won't grow again. So just enough, probably, uh, I don't know, what's that, half a, half a foot, six inches, so 15 centimetres apart, that's all you need to do. Pretty simple stuff, this garlic is one of the easiest vegetables to grow. There we go. So, for the video record, the Tassie purple is in the first two rows. Closest to the shed. So, you just backfill those with a bit of a pat. So what we'll do next is that we will put the mulch back over the top to keep the moisture in. Just putting a light sprinkling of mulch over the top of the garlic. And they'll poke their way through the garlic, no problems at all, through the, sorry, through the mulch. So as I said, it stops evaporation. You only need a, in winter, you only need a 
a light, a light cover of mulch. Now this is good stuff because it's got the added bonus of having some chook poo in there, so that'll break down as it rains during winter. And you should see the garlic pop up in about a week or so. About seven days, it's not too bad. So I've got some rain water in me. Bucket here, let's give it a light water. Probably need a couple of buckets. Well, as you can see, that was pretty easy to plant out garlic. It should pop its head up in a few weeks time. Um, usually about 14 days, sometimes as early as seven, depending on the variety of garlic. Anyway, we'll follow its progress as we catalogue the garden here in winter. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos, how to make soy yogurt and how I built my backyard clay oven. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.